Moses and Jesus. In the yeah, Moses, yeah. Abraham, Noah, the flood, yeah. Jesus. But where we differ? Uh, you say Allah. Yes. But what did Jesus say? But what language? What do you know? What language he spoke, or what the scholars say he spoke? Hebrew and Aramaic. You know, in the Aramaic language, the word for the God is Allah. Yeah. Even according to the Bible, you know, it says Ilahi, Ilahi, Lima Sabaktani. Uh, according to the Bible, oh my God, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. So the Aramaic word is very close to the Arabic word because you know okay. they're, they're sister language, Hebrew, yeah, Arabic, Arabic, they're sister yeah. languages. Yeah. So Jesus would call on Allah. Yeah. Yes. But the thing is, who is Jesus? According to the Bible, Jesus is the Son of God. Okay, but he's not the only Son of God according to the Bible. The children of Israel are called the Son of God. Yes. Adam is called the Adam is called the son of God. But Jesus was sent by God to make people like for example people used to kill animals back then yes. most of the time. Uh -huh. Because they use it as sacrifice to God yes. to ask God to forgive. Yes. But God sent Jesus to go to this is this is what Christianity teaches. I think the book of Hebrews, without the, the letting of blood, there's no remission of sin. But really, when you look at it, you know, according to the Leviticus, what would happen was the children of Israel, due to their, because of their sins or when they committed sins, uh, a priest from the tribe of Levi would take an animal to the temple and then he would slaughter the animal and the blood would be sprinkled on the altar. Yeah. The conditions, it had to be a clean animal, it had to be a healthy animal, yeah. it had to be done by a Levite, Levite priest. It was an animal sacrifice yeah. and it had to be done at the temple. Yeah. So Christians will say that this is a foreshadowing of Jesus. But so Je this happening before Christ, yeah. But Jesus' is sacrifice, yeah. is, it, Jesus, is it really the Jesus, same? Jesus is basically the Lamb of God. According to John? Yeah. But the thing is, when you look at it, Jesus, he wasn't pure, as in his body, physically he wasn't pure. He was beaten, he was whipped. Yeah. He had scars on him. Yeah. Which wouldn't be allowed for a sacrificial animal. That's one. Mm. Okay. Jesus wasn't slaughtered. According to Christianity, he was hung on the cross. Yeah, that's a kind of slaughtering. Because... It wasn't at the... Because it w they, they... On the day of his crucifixion... Yeah. They beat him. Yeah. They but, put a cross but he didn't die by being slaughtered. And, and they pierced him his side with a sword and hung him there uh, to uh, die. According to the Gospel of John, after he died, yeah. they pierced him. But what I'm saying is that, that I don't see a parallel. Because the thing is, one is an animal sacrifice, one is a human sacrifice. Yeah. Which God didn't allow in the Old Testament, human sacrifice. Mm -hmm. the, and also, it had to be done by a priest from the tribe of Levi. Jesus, according to the Bible, he was killed by Romans, yeah. Gentiles. Yeah. It has to take place at the temple. Jesus was killed away from the temple. Yeah. So I don't see the parallel. But even then, do you really think that animal sacrifice and human sacrifice is the same thing? I mean, God... According to the Bible, God wanted people to step away from sacrificing animals. Yeah. So instead of you sacrificing an animal to ask him for forgiveness, yeah. he sent his only son to die on the cross for us. Do you, so that our sins can be forgiven. But did any disciple sacrifice animals at the temple after Jesus was cru crucified, according to the Bible? I'm not sure. According to the book of Acts, they asked the disciples, they were not, they had, they had concerns about Paul, that Paul was teaching Jews and non-Jews, they don't have to follow the law of Moses. So he said, not, he denied this. He denied that he's telling the Jews not to follow the law of Moses and circumcise. So they made him fulfill what's called a Nazarene vow, where he had to go and sacrifice an animal at the temple. So he continued after Jesus, according to the Bible. The thing is, 
Uh, as well, maybe the reason why it continued yeah. after Jesus yeah. died on yeah. the cross for us in, in the Bible is because everything takes time. Yeah. You know, there is a saying that says, it's not the same day when the leaf falls in the water, it rocks. It's not the same? It's not the same day when yeah. the leaf falls in the water, it rocks. Okay, yes. So it takes time. Things take time. But did Jesus c finish completing the message and teaching the people, or did they have to... Yeah, they have to continue. Just like how you have to continue uh -huh. spreading Allah's message to yeah. people that doesn't believe. Yeah. See... There's non-believers. As, as time goes by and the world turns, there will always be non-believers. Can I... The devil is out. Yes, no doubt, Under no doubt. And life is a and test. And exactly. But the, the thing devil is... is trying to get everyone on his side. So therefore, you have to have people yeah. like you, uh -huh. from Islam or uh -huh. Christians, to teach uh -huh. the religion to non-believers so that they can see the truth, the way and the life. See, the thing is, as Muslims, we believe that when we commit sins, obviously all of us have shortcomings, we commit sins. Yeah. We turn direct to God yeah. and we seek forgiveness from Him yeah. because He's the most merciful, the most kind. Yeah. We don't believe that someone else can carry our sins. You know, even according to the Bible, uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, it says that the Father cannot bear the iniquity of the Son yeah. and the Son cannot bear the iniquity of the Father. So this concept of Jesus carrying our sins, I would say this is uh, an idea which came after Jesus. Okay. I mean, you know, the, according to Mark, a man came running to Jesus. I believe uh, Mark 10, 18, 17, 17, 18, 19. He said, oh, good master, how, how might I attain eternal life? How I might be saved? And Jesus said to him, do not call me good. Or why do you call me good? Because there is none which is good except for God. So for this, as is a very clear, Jesus identified himself that he's not God. And he said, if you wish to attain salvation, you must keep the commandments. So this, we would say, is the message of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is a messenger. He was a human being. He was sent to the and lost sheep of Israel of to call them to worship one God alone. And Jesus himself worshipped God. Do you believe yeah. Do you believe Jesus is God or the Son of God? He's the Son of God. But not God? He's the Son of God. Okay, so he, but, but he's not God. So we, do you believe in the Trinity? I know that there is a God. Uh -huh. I know that Jesus is the Son of God. And I know that you have to pray uh -huh. to God uh -huh. for God to forgive you. To for God alone. Sins. Yeah, but not a human sacrifice then. Because if, if you believe that Jesus has taken our sin, then you don't need to pray to God for your for forgiveness. So I, I, to I, I, either he took it or he didn't. He, 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 I mean, did he, Jesus took it or he didn't take it? Well, he did die for our sins. But Why do I have even to? though he died for our sins, yeah. we still have to pray to God. So God is the Father. Okay. Um, Jesus is the Son and God is the Father. What do you mean by Son? Because you know, we understand obviously words have meanings. Yes. A son, when a, a man and a woman they have relationship, and then the woman she gives birth to a son. This yes. is a, this is a son. Yeah. In you in human terms. In human terms, but we are talking in human language. Yeah. So when you say son, because you know. Because for what we understand, if you go in the Hebrew term, when they... You know, in the Bible it's like, God the Father, God the Son, uh -huh. God the Holy Spirit. God does it, does, it, does it say that in the Bible or is that what the church says? Does the Bible say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? <laughs> I would say that's what the church says. <laughs> okay. You say that. But the thing is, from what we understand, according yeah. to the language used, when you look at the language, they said someone who's a righteous person they would call that person the son of God. Yeah. Like, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Adam is called the son of God. Children of Israel is called the son of God. So, but Jesus, we believe as Muslims that he was born from the Virgin Mary. But just because he's born from a virgin, it doesn't necessitate that he is God or he's the son of God. Because there's a verse in Quran, chapter 3, very interesting. It says, إِنَّ مَثَلَ عِيسَى إِنَّ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ آدَمِ Verily the likeness in 
Muslim after the Easter. The likeness of Jesus with God is the likeness of Adam. Yeah. He created him from dust and he says be and he was. So the same way Adam, our father, he's not considered the son of God yeah. in, in that sense. Rather, he's the creation of God. The same way Jesus is showing God's power, that Jesus was a sign from God, that God can make us with a man and a woman, God can create us without a man and a woman like Adam, yeah. that God can create a woman from the ribs of a man yeah. like Hawa or Eve, and God can create Jesus without male intervention. But this doesn't make Jesus God or the Son of God. Because the, the thing is, you know, Jesus had a God and Jesus worshipped God. So it should be worship. The Quran, there's a chapter 19. It's called uh, the Surah of Maryam. It's named after the mother of Jesus. And here Jesus introduces himself. And he says, Qala inni abadullah. It mentions, Jesus said, I am the worshipper of God. And he has given me a book, an instruction, a teachings to the people. And he has made me a prophet. He has made me blessed wherever I am. Wherever Jesus is, he's blessed. And he has commanded me with prayer and charity as long as I live. So this is the Jesus we believe in, but we don't believe he was God. Like when it says he's blessed wherever he is, do you know the Bible says that Jesus is a curse? Mm -hmm. Galatians chapter 3, Paul See, says... I don't know every single no problem. verse of the Bible. But, do you, but are you... I have been to Bible school for years. No problem. But are you comfortable with a book that says Jesus is a curse? I'd have to see that bit. <laughs> okay, it's, I'll, I'll tell you. Galatians chapter 3. Okay, what it says is that Jesus, he took the curse of the law by becoming a curse. Because it is said, this is Paul saying, it is said that cursed is the one who is hung on a tree. Okay, referring to the crucifixion. When you go back to the Old Testament, the, the law in the Old Testament is if a person commits a certain crime and he's, he's punished by death, they kill that person either by stoning, by the sword, and then they hang the body up as a warning to the people as a curse. So Paul is using that example for Jesus by saying that Jesus became a curse for us. As Muslims, we can never call a messenger, a prophet, a curse. Because a curse, it means something which is far removed from God's mercy. How can that be Jesus? So, so I, can, I can see you had a long day, you're tired, but basically, our message is very simple. God is one. God is one. He has no partners. We worship him alone. And this was the call of all the messengers. Yeah. That God is not a trinity. That, that we worship God directly. And we are not in need of a human sacrifice. Yeah. And after Jesus, another messenger came. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Have you ever read about his life or looked into him? No, because I... Can't read up Arabic. No, no, it's in every, everything is in, this is, uh, you know, everything is in every most language. Quran, most Quran I've seen yeah. is in Arabic. And I okay. Really speak in Today I'm going to give you English Quran and okay. some, some details. But I would ask you to look into it because it, it is important. It's nice to know another book. Yeah. But keep an open Very mind because. Um, religion from another Yeah. Like, personally, religion itself to me. I wouldn't say a curse. Yeah. But I don't believe in religion. Uh -huh. Because religion is kind of a division. Uh -huh. It divides me. Because what does it divide so, them between? Because so many people believe in so many different yeah. kind of gods that they uh -huh. end up fighting with each other in the name of that God. See, see the thing is, I, I would say, you know. You know the word religion, it has mean, a meaning. As we said, words have meaning. Yeah. Religion is someone who, someone who believes in a superpower or superpower, supernatural power, or like God or gods. And they believe that they have certain uh, instructions from that God or rituals and they follow it. So this is religion. Yeah. But the thing but I is... I know for a fact that there is a God. Yes. And God lives within you. God is around you. 
God but, is everywhere. But has God given you commandments to follow? According to language, that is the religion. If you believe in a God and you believe he has instructions and you have rituals to follow. Because, but the thing sorry, is, if, sorry, if, sorry, if, but, if, for example, can I just make one point very quickly? When you said division, I would say there's division which shouldn't take place. Division based on uh, nationality, yeah. color, class, this yeah. shouldn't take place. But there's a, there's a division which is necessary. Mm -hmm. A division between truth and falsehood. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, there sure. should always be yeah. a difference between truth yeah. and falsehood. There. And this truth, it comes from what God has commanded. Yeah, but nowadays, the way religion is portrayed, it, it divides people. You see country go against another country and fight in the name of the It happens, it happens, but... Which, deep down, most of them don't even believe in the religion that they're fighting for, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but I would say, I would say that this is an idea put forward by people who want to keep people away from religion. Mm. Because, like now, if we're looking at Ukraine, Russia, this is not a religious war. Mm. This is about power, yeah, control, that, wealth. Yes. World War One, World War Two, even when America, when they invaded Afghanistan and yes. Iraq, it has nothing to do with religion. Yes. Pe people may fight in the name of God or use it, but you'll actually find that most of these wars are not about religion. Yes. But the thing is, there should be a criteria. There should be something to distinguish truth from falsehood. Yes. And we would say that's the sending of messengers and by sending books, because God is the one who decides what is right and wrong. Yes. But if if a message has been changed or forgotten, like, like Moses, uh, when Moses came, Jesus followed him after and he was sent to the lost sheep of the children of Israel because they had forgotten or changed the teachings of Moses. And that's why they opposed him. But I would say that Christianity has changed the teachings of Jesus by making him from a prophet, a messenger, calling to the worship of God. They made him a God and they made him a sacrifice, which was very common in the Greek Roman world. That, you know, God can become a man, man can become a God, that God has to, there has to be a human sacrifice in order to get close to God. This is very common, but I would say this is not the teachings of Jesus. That's why God, from his mercy, he sent another messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the Quran as the last messenger, and this message has been preserved. But now, no one really did human sacrifice because Jesus was the last yeah. kind of sacrificial lamb. Was he happy? Was he happy to be sacrificed? Yeah, well, the last. <laughs> Do you think? I, I mean, if, if if he is the if he is the son of God, yeah. and he is that God so loved the world, he, he gave his only begotten son. But did he want to? Most people don't don't like what the parents tell them, but they still have to do it. No, but J Jesus. I mean, Jesus, those people who say he's the son of God, according to the Bible, he did not want to. Oh my God, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? He went to the garden to get sent me. He fell on his face. In the Gospel of Luke, it said that he cried as if it was blood. And then he said, oh Father, not by my will, but by your will. Yeah, he didn't want to be sacrificed. He didn't want to be sacrificed. Because he was in the human form. So the, what the, other form did he have? The things that you know, so, so you do believe he is God. He's the son of God. But, but do you believe he's God, you, though? Us human beings. Yeah. We can't. Our bodies cannot manage certain things. Yeah. He was a human being. But many, many human beings are willing, whether right or wrong. I'm not saying it's right, but many human beings are willing to sacrifice their life for what they believe about God or their even political beliefs. Mm. They're willing to sacrifice their life. But Christianity is saying that Jesus is God. He's a second person in the Trinity. He came down solely for this person, for a purpose. Yeah. That he didn't want to do it. And I mean, I don't even see what the big yeah, deal is. If you're, if you're told, if, if, if you're told by God that yeah. you're going to die for three days, according to Christianity, I don't accept this, but you're told you're going to die for three days, and then we're gonna, I'm going to bring you back to life, and you're going to sit next to me in the right hand. I don't see what the big deal is. Like, what's the amazing sacrifice? Like God has promised you, you're going to come back after three days and exactly. then you're going to sit next to me on the right hand died, side. Yeah. No one needed to do any more sacrifice. You have to just pray to God uh -huh. and ask God to forgive you. And God, if you sin yeah, right now, yeah. 
as a human being. Yeah. And you have to pray to Allah and ask Allah for forgiveness, yes or no? Yes, but I don't believe someone else uh, died for me. Like, for example, a person comes in front of the judge. I mean, this is an example you hear Muslims give a lot. Yes. But a person comes in front of the judge and he's, he's committed many crimes and he feels bad. Mm -hmm. And he's, he regrets what he's done. Yeah. And he seeks forgiveness from the judge. And the judge says, I will forgive you. But there needs to be some kind of payment. So I will bring in my son who's innocent and I will kill him in, in your place. Like, how can an innocent person bear our sins? Where, where's the justice? I mean, even, even Christianity teaches that this, the sin which we have, the original sin, I never even committed it. You never even committed it. But this sin can only be removed by someone else carrying it. Isn't it easier to say that, isn't it more comfortable, more correct to say that God is the most merciful, the most kind, when we commit so sins, God is not like man. so we don't need a son. Man is vicious. I would say, I would say, according to, according to Christianity, so God is more, I would say, according God, to the, God, hold on. Yeah. human beings yes. can be vicious, yes. unforgiving, yes. and uncaring. Yes. But God is not like human beings. But I would say, God is merciful mm. and He's forgiven. So if you do something wrong, uh, yeah. even if you yeah. kill, yeah. He can forgive you. I believe that. I believe that. But I would say, Christianity doesn't believe that. I do. Because Christianity teaches that God cannot forgive you, He cannot show you mercy unless, and, 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 unless, unless there has to be a human sacrifice of an innocent person, an atonement. Like, you know Nineveh, you know Jonah. When Jonah was sent to uh, Nineveh and they refused to listen to him, and then he was taken in the, the belly of the whale, after he came out, God was going to punish these people. Then the people, they repented. They were Gentiles. They were not from the children of Israel. They were Persians. They did not sacrifice. They did not, they, Jesus did not die for them because it was a long time before Jesus. But God forgave them. Because God is merciful. He is forgiven. If, it was, if, if uh, that was a human being, yeah, yeah. they would kill everyone. Then. Yeah. But the problem is, the problem is, you you understand or Christianity teaches that God doesn't forgive unless there's animal sacrifice in the Old Testament and he won't forgive in the New Testament, the new covenant for all mankind unless there's a human, sac human sacrifice. The second person of the Trinity, the Son of God died. But we have examples in the Bible where God has forgiven without any sacrifice. In the Old Testament? Yeah, in the Old Testament. Even, even Jesus himself, according to the Bible, you know, the, the person who was unable to walk, then he got up and the people were surprised. And he said, Jesus said along the lines of what is greater, that this, this paralyzed man can walk or that his sins are forgiven. And Jesus forgave him. So obviously Christians, they use this to say that Jesus must be God, can he forgive? But this person was forgiven without any, uh, without any sacrifice. When, the narration we mentioned that when the person came to Jesus, and how can, oh good one, how can I have eternal life? Jesus didn't say, wait, I'm going to die for your sins soon. He said that you need to keep the commandments. I, I, I'm going to say that the teachings of uh, Christianity has, has come later. That's why another messenger has come with the Quran to make it clear. Like, like for example, when Moses was on the earth, if people, they followed Moses, and they followed the laws which God gave them on Mount Sinai. And in their lifetime, Jesus came. And a person said, Moses is enough for me. I'm going to follow the law of Moses. And Jesus, I'm not going to accept him. Do you think God is pleased with that? They accept Moses. They accept God. They accept the laws of God. But they reject Jesus. Do you think that God would be pleased with that? We would, we would say that they have to accept Jesus as well because he's been sent by God. The same way today, if a person says they're going to follow Moses, they're going to follow Jesus, and then another messenger comes and they refuse to accept him, this puts them in the same position. I know maybe it's the first time you had the conversation, but I would advise you 
like read Quran, read about the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He came to confirm the previous messages of, of Abraham, of Noah, that God is one, worship him alone. But God is not a trinity and God is not a human sacrifice or he doesn't require human sacrifice. Okay. Can I give you so, a Quran to read and some leaflets? Yeah, go for it. Let me get them one moment, please. Do we have? Huh? Do we have? Yeah, Quran, yeah. Huh? Have any questions, any comments? Yeah, I like reading. So okay. For me, it's fine. No problem. Thank you very much for no your time. No problem, it's a pleasure. Um, I, I, I can't answer you fully about no the problem. Bible because I don't know the Bible at all. No but problem. I do know that there is a living God. Yes. A living God. Yes. And if you believe in God, then. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, madam, thank you very much for your time. We're here every Saturday. Any questions, you're, you're welcome. Any comments? No problem. No okay, thank you for your time, madam. Thank you. Thank thank you, you, you too, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Please, yeah.